Sarah Mikesell with thecropsite.com and today we're here with Brian Humphreys. He is the National Sales Manager for Whipple's Hybrids. Today, let's talk a little bit, Brian, um, about you know the fact harvest is complete. We're kind of moving into the winter months. What kind of results did Whipple see from your product lineup this year? Yeah, this year, uh, the results that we saw, we were very pleased with um, uh, what we did see and that's up and down our entire lineup from 95 day through 116 day maturity and uh, mm -hmm. we believe it's a result of uh, not only having an independent unbiased research department right. but those products were tested in two drastically different environments the previous two years so what we uh, <coughs> so for a customer a corn grower of ours what they get out of that is a product uh, that is going to be very stable across different environments weather patterns product placement, and uh, we were very pleased with what we did see this year, without a doubt. Very good. Were the, um, were the would you say uh, yields were above average this year across the, you know, your corn growing area that you guys sell to? Yeah, I believe without a doubt, mm -hmm. and uh, as we went through this year, there were a few places um, in our marketing area where we did have some dry conditions, yeah. you know, some extremes, mm -hmm. some late planting, but I think when harvest arrived, I think most corn growers are pretty pleased with, with what they saw in, in terms of yield, that it was more than what they expected. Very good. And d were they seeing things that were, or seeing numbers and data that was similar to the national averages that were out, or was it in line at least with what, what a lot of the averages that were coming out, which obviously were better, certainly better than last year, let's say, that much easily. Yeah, I think without a doubt, I think most growers are seeing uh, at average or above they were very pleased with what they did see. And I think a lot of it, uh, when we ask customers, hey, where do you think this extra yield's coming from? Yeah. And, you know, they'll go back and they'll talk about the genetics and the products that they're putting out there now compared to, say, 10 years ago. Same right. environment. Maybe we would have left 20 or 30 bushel on the table. Wow. That's a, that makes a huge difference. So we're very absolutely. happy with what we saw. Yeah, very good. And the traits that people are seeing, are that, or the traits that are in the, um, the hybrids, obviously, are making a difference. Uh, and from yeah. a ripple standpoint sure. as well. Absolutely. And this year, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, escalated in the last two or three years. And one of, one of the areas that really gets a lot of focus now is uh, pest management and pest mm -hmm. control. With corn rootworm being one of the main uh, issues or one of the main pests in the corn growing areas, yeah. uh, especially in Illinois and Iowa. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've learned a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. But at the same time, uh, Farmers mm -hmm. that are planting products that have two technologies for rootworm control right. below ground, they're seeing a real advantage, and we absolutely we saw that in our lineup this year as well. Very good. Uh, in addition to those traits, mm -hmm. uh, what we've also mm -hmm. learned is that it's going to take uh, maybe back to where we used to be 10, 15 years ago, where we're going to have to start to manage this pest year-round, meaning the trait alone maybe isn't going to give us all the protection we need. Right. Um, because of the populations of the rootworm beetles, and we're going to have to start doing some adult control again, scouting fields and things like that. Mm -hmm. The growers that are doing that are seeing the benefits of that. Oh, very good. Those management issues are just an ongoing thing. As as technology evolves, we still have to go back to some of the basics on occasion. Correct? Absolutely, and and we all know in this industry mm -hmm. and in agriculture that uh, without a doubt, Mother Nature is going to adapt, <laughs> yes. and uh, we have to stay on our toes. Very good. Well, thanks so much for your time today, Brian. You're welcome. This is Sarah Mikesell, and before we go, I will say specific uh, results and yield results for uh, the Whipples Hybrid lineup are available at whipples.com or at thecropsite.com.